While researching for a pseudo-humorous intro to this video, I tried a lot of different things. I searched for hotel jokes, cafe jokes, and Austria jokes, and by the way, I strongly advise you don't Google that last one. But I learned that the word hotel came from the French word similar to hospital, where people would search of a room to get care, rather than just accommodation. In the mid-17th century, the local inn would take over as they rent out rooms for extra income, as they became known as coaching inns or roadhouse. In a place like Vienna with its artists, politicians and other VIPs all looking for a place to stay, then you better set up a room quick and it better be nice. I'm Rob from JTRPodcast.com and I'm going to show you how to play Grand Austria Hotel. This is a game for 2-4 players, plays in about 120 minutes, is designed by Virginio Gili and Simeone Lucali and is published by Mayfair Games. You're a Viennese cafe owner hoping to turn it into a hotel by preparing rooms and hiring the best staff and attracting guests. Then, fulfil their orders and give them a room to stay in to earn the favour of the Emperor. And to score the most points, of course. Put the game board, action board, dustbin, VP markers, cubes and rooms stacked by colour on the table. Take 10, 12 or 14 dice depending if you're playing with 2, 3 or 4 players. Shuffle the guest cards and place them next to the board. Lay 5 out face up on their spaces. Shuffle the staff cards and deal 6 out to each player. Or use the suggested deck for the first few games. Randomly choose an A, B and C politics card and Emperor tile and put them on their spaces. Take the turn order tile with the correct player count and place the round marker on round one. Players take an overview card, a hotel board, use the knight side for the first game and discs of their colour. Players put a disc on zero on the emperor track, zero on the VP track and ten on their money track. Put one of each colour cube in the kitchen. Give a random first player the turn one token and the rest clockwise in order. In reverse turn order, players draft a guest, sliding the row right to filling it back up after each pick. Players now prepare three rooms using the matching colour tiles, open door side up. Start in the bottom left space, future tiles are placed adjacent to a tile already on the board, paying the cost of the row if building on higher levels. The game is played over seven rounds, with scoring on rounds three, five and seven. The start player rolls a dice and places them on the action spaces by number. Now in turn order, players either perform an action or pass. The first thing a player must decide to do on a turn is to take a guest. Simply take one from those available, pay the cost and refill the row. If a player's cafe is full, they can no longer take any more guests. After this comes the main part of the game, take a die and the related action. Take an action on a space, then take a die from that space and place it on the lowest number on the turn order token. There are six possible actions here depending on what die is taken. 1. For each die, take one strudel or cake, but you can't take more cake than strudel. So if there are four dice here, you can take up to four food cubes, but you can't take more white cake cubes than brown strudel cubes. 2 is the same as 1, but for each die, take one wine or coffee, and you can't take more black coffee cubes than red wine cubes. Whenever you gain food or drink, put them onto your guest's orders and or into the kitchen. 3. For each die, prepare a room as described previously during setup. Score VPs immediately when these spaces are covered. 4. For each die, advance one space on the Emperor and or money track. 5. For each die, receive one discount on one staff card from your hand. For example, this chef would usually cost 3, but as there are 2 dice on this action space, he only costs 1. 6. Pay 1 money and take any of the other 5 actions. Use the number of 6s instead of the relevant number of dice for that action. Before or after taking a die in the related action, there are a number of additional actions a player can perform. Once per turn, pay 1 money and add 1 to the number of a die. The rest of the actions can be used as many times as you need. Pay 1 money to move up to 3 Three cubes from your kitchen to your guests. Put a disc on a politics card if you meet the requirement, put it in the highest available spot and score the VPs immediately. For example, this player has 12 rooms in the hotel, so they add a disc and score 15 points. Use a staff card with a once per round effect, for example, tap this waitress to gain one piece of cake. Move a guest with a completed order to a room of a matching colour only if available. Flip the room to show that it's full and score the number of VPs showing on the guest. When you complete a set of rooms, score the Occupy bonus at the top of the board. For example, complete this set of 4 red rooms and gain the bonus of 10 money. Once the player has finished their turn, the player with the next lowest visible number on their turn order tile goes next. However, instead of taking an action, you can pass, and this continues until everyone has passed or taken two actions. Then the player with the lowest visible number on the turn order token removes a die, placing it in the bin, and re-rolls all the dice. Play continues like this until all players have taken two actions or no dice remain. At the end of the round, return all staff to an upright position and pass all the turn order tiles clockwise. At the end of rounds 3, 5 and 7, you have Emperor scoring where you score the Emperor track. Score the points for the space your disc is currently on, then move back 3, 5 or 7 spaces depending on the round. If in the yellow area, 3 and up, gain the bonus on the Emperor tile which in this case gives you 3 money. If you're on 0, gain the penalty which in this case is either pay 3 money or lose 5 points. 
The game ends after 7 rounds. Score for EPs for any staff cards that reward end game points like this lift boy that rewards 5 victory points for each full column of rooms in your hotel. Score VPs for each occupied room based on its level so 1 point for the first floor and 4 points for the fourth floor. You get 1 VP per money left and each cube still in the kitchen. Lose 5 VPs for each guest in the cafe. The tiebreaker goes to the player with the most cubes in the kitchen and money on their player board. That's Grand Austria Hotel, a dice drafting Euro game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast and find my blog and podcast at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Just the Rogue, until next time, keep on serving.